Hi everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing some little jobs. Battery, transponder holder, shark's fin, and sticking the V piece in. So just some little jobs, so it'll probably be a relatively quick video. Okay, so to get the shark's fin in, you can see that we've got the bike built up already. So I'm going to have to remove the rear set which means just disconnecting the rod linkage, okay. I'm gonna have to loosen off the hugger so that I can get that out of the way. And then hopefully we've got enough clearance on the chain, it's loose enough. What I've got to do, undo is just these bolts on the chain guides, because I've got to slip the hugger underneath these and then I'll retighten these back down. Okay, let's get on with that then. Right, so everything's off, so you see that that's nice and loose now. All I've got to do is just manhandle that into place and then when you push it in, it helps it shape nicely to stick to the side of the swing arm. So all I've got to do now is just manhandle this into place and put the bolts back in. So let's get, let's get on with doing that. Okay, one shark's fin fitted. It's uh, in the right place to stop their fingers being trapped as per the AC regs. Um, all fitted, nice and tight. Gear selector is back in place. I've left this loose because obviously I don't know if this is gonna be comfortable to ride yet in that position. Um, what I've just got to do is just bend this out slightly because it's, you'll notice that it's rubbing against the chain there. So I'm just gonna heat this up a little bit, just gently bend it out so it sort of sits there. Let's just do that quickly. There you go, that's, that's all I've done. Just applied enough pressure just so that it's, just bends it back out slightly. Cause it's an epoxy, if you heat it up and then it will just cool back and then sit there and it's now clear of the chain. So that stops that little bit of a fouling issue. Otherwise that would have just ground away and it would have been no use to mount or beast. What I'm now gonna do is mount the transponder. Now I used to mount them just up here in the, um, between the yokes, but there's a new ACU regulation that says I can't mount it there because you run the risk of it fouling and then stopping, stopping your steering from working correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it just in the front subframe. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of tie wraps and you'll see that there's tie wrap holes in this little piece here that will give us a ability to fit that in there. And I'll keep the pin at the front to the, 
sorry, to the left of the bike at the front so I can get it in and out easily. So let's just stick that in there quickly. Okay, so that's the transponder mount in there, nice and rigid, so it can't flip round. And uh, it's got to be behind the front axle, which is that's in a vertical line down, it's behind the front axle as well, so we satisfy the ACU regs requirements on that point. Okay, next thing to do is mount the battery. Now, I'm of two minds how to mount this because it goes in there quite nicely. It comes with loads of foam so that I could, if I wanted, sort of elevate it up. But actually, here it's got the strength of this holding it in. So what I think I'm gonna do is just tie wrap it into position. So I'm gonna run a tie wrap round the back of the battery here so I can just hold it in place and then I'll wrap one around the top. It won't look pretty, but it will functionally hold it in correctly. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. most factory of fitting but as you can see it's good and secure in there which is what it needs to be for racing it's got the big tang from the actual battery holder holding it in place and the terminals are in the right place for me so and I can still easily reach the test function button on it so that's a nice lightweight lithium battery in I'm going to leave it disconnected for now because we'll when we fully commission the bike that'll be the first time I connect up all of the power so Let's get the side fairing back on and then we'll fit the V-piece. Okay, side fairing back on. So oh, all I've got here V-piece wise is an old standard V-piece. You'll see what I've had to do on the back is just trim the lip off and I've also had to take a very small amount off the bottom. That's because I'm obviously running a catch tray which I can't modify. So I need to have this in for racing regulations which just gets in the way a little bit of the standard V-piece. So the V-piece would normally want to sit behind the fairing. This piece wouldn't exist. So, having now trimmed that off, it just fits in there nicely. So what I'm gonna do is stick a couple of bolts in there and we're good to go. Okay, so one V-piece fitted in and it just makes the front of the bike look a bit more finished. Gives a little protection from stones and bits and pieces. Um, this is missing a grill, I believe, on the inside there. So I may well put a bit of grill across just to protect the fins from any damage from flying debris when I'm racing. I suppose that's the last thing you want is an oil leak when you're racing. <coughs> okay, short and sharp video today. Um, apologies for that but I'm just really getting stuck with people that promise to deliver things at certain times and then they don't turn up but we've got our sharks fin on now so we're compliant from a finger trap guard point of view and that's now nicely firmed up again now that it's cooled down um, we've got the V piece in so the front of the bike is sealed correctly the transponder mount is in so that we can get our timing correctly and as we saw earlier the battery's mounted. I've decided against a piece of foam as I said in the last video on here now so I'm just going to source a um, monoposto seat pad and then I'll show you how to 
cut the hole out on here to make that fit. I've got a um, piece of tube and a non-return valve to go in here. I'm just waiting on a little uh, bottle that I can mount at the front in here. And then it's just waiting on this um, Power Commander 3 to turn up and it's dyno time. And then I've got uh, a date ready for a track day on the 4th of April where I'm hoping to give it a run out just to see how she goes. So once again thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video chuck us a like, if you've got any questions or comments leave them down below and I'll try to answer as quickly as I can and if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet I'd really welcome you as a subscriber so hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell, I do try to get out a video every week or so. Um, and I shall see you in a couple of weeks time because next weekend I am on holiday so there will be no video on uh, next Sunday. So again, thanks for watching, see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers for now, bye.